Happy St. Patrick's Day, or at least it's coming up. I wanted to include St. Patrick's Day in this video because St. Patrick's Day won't be till after my next video, so I figure I will include it now, so you get a little bit early. So the stupid thing you should know today is that St. Patrick's Day is, of course, a feast day celebrating St. Patrick. The thing you may not know is that originally St. Patrick was associated with the color sky blue. The reason we now think of green in St. Patrick's Day is that often people would wear shamrocks, which are the three-leaf clovers, uh, which St. Patrick used often in order to describe the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and now they're three parts, but they're one thing. So people began to make designs using these shamrocks, and of course some shamrocks are green, and that continued to carry over and we now associate St. Patrick with the color green, where originally St. Patrick's order wore light blue, and there's actually a color, St. Patrick's blue, that is associated with him still. Not quite done with last week yet, so a couple things people sent in. A pair of shoes sent in by Wendy, both laced in odd ways. Posted a link on the video that takes you to Ian's Shoelace website, which basically has a ton of different ways to lace your shoes in really cool ways. I use several of these in different instances. I have one on my dress shoes that makes it look nice and neat. Uh, I have one on my boots, which is really nice because you can tighten both the top half of your shoe and the bottom half of your shoe with different tightnesses. Lots of really practical things, lots of really cool things if you're into designs. So Wendy here has two. This is a cool spidery design, and she also looks like she tied her shoes in the manner in which the video had tied them. It also seems like she buys her shoes at the same place she buys her light cycles and frisbees of death. Done with last week, starting with this week. Okay, Justin's made a submission this week, and we'll, we'll watch. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll see how he did here. Looks like Kisa is helping him here by keeping track of how long it's taking him to tie his tie. Uh, Kisa, he's he's gonna need his arm. No, no, you're gonna need to get off of him, Kisa. He he can't tie his tie when you're on. Oh, oh, I think he's dead. Well, the only thing I have to say to that is, Cubert. And now, it is time for what YouTube thought I said. Today we're going to learn CAC. The teaching you to different methods to their terrorists is a fast not certain. The second one is a pretty good. That's the number one. <laughs> is the best of that. Then, uh... Uh... That in order to do this, together ending the typo three index and middle centrist. But preacher on the right side of the tight make political figure skaters now. Placing the palm against the back of a large and with a sweeping motion create a link. Yes, the sleeping over your sneakers. Take a small in the tire wrapped around her neck. Didn't see it through the soldiers. One, that, that's what the one it was referring to earlier. I'll call you completed not. <laughs> hey, completed not. How's it going? Really? Oh, man. Yeah. Or back to your neck. Method two instead. Is better looking than the first method that is slower. Being this method in much the same way that's holding tight across. Instead of and to the right. Make a live on the left side need and then feed it through they're excited. But that over and then placing a Republican's feedback satellite engine. But really, if using the same method was the first and them do of the sleep tight by, but make sure there's enough room and unions of Stalin threatened. Uh. At people's en route to match the pictured again with your index and middle finger. In Poland, through the completed knot, then using your done as a guide. And then bogus completed not tear down to then go to work. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what unions of Stalin are, but uh, I would love to find out and then threaten them. So just a little update to tell you where stupid stuff you should know is at. 
So we have two more videos till we're done with the first set of videos that I recorded. I'm calling it a season, whatever that means. So the way this is going to work is we're going to finish up these two episodes. I'm going to do two more weekend reviews. And then I think I'm going to do a season finale. I haven't recorded it yet. I have an idea. We'll see how it goes. I have two weeks to do it in. But then I'm going to take a short hiatus while I record next season. I've got ideas down for what I'm going to do. I'll probably include some sort of overview of what uh, next season is going to look like. I'm hoping next season to have better software because Windows Movie Maker just doesn't cut it. I just don't have the money in order to buy like really good software that I really want. So I'll have to see if I can find some kind of middle ground. But then maybe they'll be a little cleaner, they'll look a little better, a little more professional instead of clunky. So we are at 70 likes on our Facebook page, 30 more to go, and then I will be wearing a dress. Get excited. So I'm debating about helping you guys get to 100. I'm not necessarily looking forward to wearing a dress, but I'm kind of looking forward to the whole process of making the picture and getting it all together, and I think it'll be really funny. So. I may or may not put together a flyer that if any of you are interested, you can put up. I'll probably post a link to it on the Facebook, and then you can post it wherever you want, print it out, once not. It'll have a QR code on it. It'll look like this. And then you can even use that right now if you want to. Take a screenshot of it, post it wherever. They can take a picture of it with their smartphone, and it'll take them directly to the Facebook, and then they can like it from there and that'll get us to 100. Again, having a great time. I'm looking forward to recording some new ones, have some really good ideas. I'm also looking forward to recording the finale and the potential of recording me in a dress. So those are all kind of things that I'm looking forward to. Thanks, I will talk to you next week.